All right, so uh, it's only the year 93? Damn. Ultra speed. There we go. Man, 93 years. In 93 years, 93, 95 years, corn has evolved to grow on the water. And bobbies have evolved to live on the water. To be able to swim out to the middle of the ocean and just chomp on corn all day. And, you know, you, they don't know if that corn has any weevils on it or anything like that. God forbid you, you eat a corn with a weevil on it. But, but let's, let's look at the genes. I'm pretty sure the, uh, the, the, we were, there, there's some, some type of gene that's supposed to change. Um, I've already seen plenty of genes change. They're, like, all fucking all over the water these days. So what do we got? Walk, climb. Swim is not a thing, but they clearly swim. Um, percent female. I think that's the one that's supposed to change that really hasn't changed. Um, danger. Oh my god. Water. Max action danger. Max action danger. Help? Click any of the control frames for help messages. Oh! I never knew that before! What does danger mean? This gene slider determines what fraction of the action level a food, water, or health store can get down to before the animal panics. For example, if the danger slider is set to the middle, then an animal will begin to panic when the associated store goes down to one half of the level determined by the action gene. To see the direct effects of the action and danger gene slider controls, look at the yellow action and red danger arrows for the food water and health stores displayed in the animals variables window where's the variables window um never mind variables no what Variables. Bobby. New, edit, copy, delete. What are the variables? How do I do that? What's the biodiversity looking like? Food web? Yeah, Bobby's eat super corn. And Bobby's also eat krill every once in a while. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that? If you live in the United Kingdom, let me know. Let me know in the comments section if you've ever seen a bobby, if you've ever been walking along the River Thames, and then all of a sudden, like, a bobby just comes, like, crawling up out of the river, and he's got a mouthful of krill, and he just swallows it, and he goes, Ugh! Bobby Wyke! Bobby Wyke eat quill! Have you guys ever seen that before? Especially on Piccadilly Circus, because, of course, this is prehistoric Piccadilly Circus. Uh, back in the days where I think we were at the year 40,000 BBC at this point back in the days where instead of prostitutes, it was just corn. Corn as far as the eye can see. Um, what is this? Biology lab. No, 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 no. Uh, build world, help. Windows, disasters, edit. No, simulation. Difficulty, technical. Change physics. Oh, I can change physics. Set time to zero. Run control. Data logging. Auto speciate. Reconverge species. Um, Bobby, where are the variables? I'm curious about the variables. Max. Max indicates the size of the animal's food, water, or health store relative to the size of the animal. A larger store means the animal can go longer before needing to replenish the store. However, larger stores make the animal weigh more, and this causes it to use more energy and water to move around and stay alive. The further the slider is to the right, the larger the store is. Uh, immortal. Bobbies are immortal? I guess that's why they're performing so well. <laughs> There's no way they're mortal. 
I mean, there's no way they're immortal. What does the carrot do? I still don't know what the carrot... Oh, I see. The carrot lures them to one place. All right, I don't care. Okay. Here? Oh, wow, look at all these bobbies. Oh, I just... Bobby, Bobby has become extinct. Bobby has become extinct. Oh my God, what have I done? I just single-handedly killed every Bobby in all of Piccadilly Circus. Well, I think we won this scenario. <laughs> I think, I think we did pretty good on this scenario. I think we did pretty good today. Um, let's see here. Let's get started on the next one. <laughs> let's dig right into the next one. Let's see here. So one new scenario. I will not be saving that one. Feast and famine. Oh. <laughs> How did I do that? How did I kill every Bobby in all of Piccadilly Circus? Piccadilly Circus is a big place and there's a lot of Bobbies. All right, whatever. Feast and famine. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Feast and famine. The rain falls and the plants sprout, causing a vegetable baby boom. This is great. Because these vegetarians become well-fed and have babies of their own. As the animal population increases, more plants are eaten up. Life is wonderful while there are more plants than animals. But what happens when the animal population gets out of hand? Can your animals survive the crash? Can, your, can you bring the ecosystem into a stable balance? What will be the fate of the exploding population of the human race? Play uh, scenario. All right, so we have to make sure. What are these, peccaries? Peccaries, all right. So we have to make sure. And these are the only animals we have, right? That's it, plants. We got plenty of plants. So we have to make sure that the plant and animal ecosystem stays balanced. And I do not know how we're gonna be doing that, but I guess we will just have to let it unfold and watch what happens. So speed, let's do, uh, let's do fast speed. Bamboo has had its first plant sprout. Oh, way to go. Oh, look at the peccaries. Look at all the peccaries snuffling around. I fucking love peccaries. They're great. Peccaries, if you, um, if you do not know what a peccary is, a peccary is like a little cute pig. Or actually, I just found out, um, a few years back, I always thought the peccaries were pigs, but they are not pigs. Do not be fooled. Peccaries are a completely separate animal than pigs. And in fact, in North America, um, sagebrush is being, being eaten up. Really? Are they being eaten by the peccaries? All these peccaries. You guys, hey, don't make me call Naked Jamie Oliver. Do not make me call Naked Jamie Oliver. Because, of course, we are still, I think now we are at the year 30,000 BBC here in a prehistoric Piccadilly Circus uh, where we have uh, a bunch of peccaries, a bunch of Piccadilly pick. Piccadilly peccaries. Here's here's all the Piccadilly peccaries. Oh, by the way, my fun fact: um, there has never, there has never been any pig in North America. It was not until Christopher Columbus brought European domesticated pigs to North America, and all of the wild hogs, all of the javelinas, all of the boars that currently live in North America are descendants of the domestic European pigs that Christopher Columbus brought from the old, old world. Peccaries, however, are native to North America, but they are not related to pigs at all. Although they are like the exact same thing as pigs, they look exactly like pigs, they act like pigs, they've got little snouts, they are not pigs. They are not pigs. And all of the wild, feral hogs, boars, and pigs that live in North America are all descendants of the pigs brought by Christopher Columbus and also uh, Peccary has no females left. Oh my God. I thought the Piccadilly, I thought the Piccadilly Peccaries would last a little bit longer than this. Jesus. All right. Well, why are the, why are the, pe why are the Peccaries dying? Can I pause it real quick and create some female Peccaries? Let's go to animals. Let's see here. Let's go to uh, female Peccaries. Female Peccaries. Okay. Make it so. Some female peccaries coming right up. Populate. Nope, never mind. Uh, this guy, populate. One, two, three. There we go. This guy's about to have his fucking prayers answered. Three female peccaries right here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up for the stud. Give it up for the stud of Piccadilly Circus. 
Oh, but yeah, of course these pe these peccaries have to. Did that peccary just like push the ocean back? Oh, and here's some female peccaries for you as well, so you can populate your little island home. Your your old Kentucky home is going to be full of bouncing baby pic Piccadilly peccaries before too terribly long. But yeah, this of course is another is another scenario where where I think Naked Jamie Oliver would have a lot to say. It's all about it's all about portion control. It's all about you know if you're a Piccadilly peccary. Uh, and you see all of this wheat in front of you, you'll be like, holy shit, well, there's only eight of us in all of Piccadilly Circus. Let me eat all of this fucking wheat. Let me eat all of this grass. Let me rip this grass out of the ground with my bare hands and craft it in into some kind of crude, prehistoric steak and kidney, kidney pie and devour it. And you know what? If you were a peccary and naked Jamie Oliver was in the bushes watching, like squatting in the bushes watching you as you eat... Peccary has no females left. What? How? Females. Here come the females. Is this not enough damn females for you? Oh, wait a minute. Or is that an old message? I think that might be an old message. <laughs> what percent females? Now I'm just curious. What percent females are we going to be looking at here? Should I change that? Percent females? Should I change this to like go up here? Never mind. You know what? I don't want to change it. The, the scenario is trying to teach me something and I want to make sure that I learn it. Um, but yeah, so you're a peccary. You're out here in the prehistoric plains of Piccadilly Circus and naked Jamie Oliver, who of course is the apex predator of uh, ancient Piccadilly Circus, is crouching in the bushes, squatting in the bushes, that is, um, peering through the bushes, watching as you eat your steak and kidney pie. And he's just like getting madder and madder and madder and madder and madder and madder until finally he pounces out of the bushes and just tackles you to the ground and just completely. And he's got claws. Of course, he's got talons. I don't know if you've ever if you've ever noticed Jamie Oliver before, if you ever looked terribly close at his hands. But um, or in fact, even um, if you've ever wondered, I, I know, you know, I've always wondered about this. I've always wondered why Jamie Oliver is always wearing gloves. Have you guys ever wondered why Jamie Oliver is always wearing gloves? It's creepy. It's creepy. He's literally always wearing gloves. Like, he's he's naked all the time, um, but he, he still wears gloves. It's just they're flesh-colored gloves. If you've ever looked carefully at Jamie Oliver's hands, you'll notice he wears flesh-colored gloves to create the illusion of preserving his nudity, um, but, but in reality, he's covering up his talents. And so, of course, if uh, Jamie Oliver um, catches one of these Piccadilly peccaries eating a steak and kidney pie on his watch here on the plains of Piccadilly Circus, he will jump, he will leap out of that hedge and he will remove his flesh colored gloves and he will shred. He will literally shred that Piccadilly peccary to, 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 uh, to, 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 to scraps. He'll, I, 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 kept, I, I, I kept trying to say shreds. My instincts were telling me to say shreds, but I didn't want to say he'll shred them to shreds because that would sound stupid as hell. So he just shreds them all to pieces. And, uh, and, and you can tell that it was a, uh, a, a, a Jamie Kennedy killing, not Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> you can tell it was a Jamie Oliver killing because on top of every Jamie Oliver killing, Jamie Oliver leaves a, uh, uh oh, a flood is occurring. Oh shit. Watch out, pickeries. Watch out, peccaries. Oh God. Oh, the ocean. The ocean is coming to take what once was its. What once was his. Watch out, naked Jamie Oliver. Naked Jamie, oh, the flood is over, phew. Oh, there we go. There's Naked Jamie Oliver himself. Naked Jamie Oliver himself hiding behind a mountain. Um, he was scared of the flood himself. He was scared that the flood would wipe out his supply of organic, uh, of organic bangers and mash, which of course is what, that's like Jamie Oliver's calling card. On every peccary murder that occurs, uh, Jamie Oliver leaves a, an organic steak and kidney pie on the bloody and brutalized corpse of the peccary that he killed. Um, so beautiful. All right, so here we are. Um, I think I'm actually going to call it at that. I've been playing for about an hour now by my estimates. And I want to call it at that in case this video is, gets fucked up too. So so this is a lot of fun. I'm still really liking this. I, we're making some good progress through the scenarios. This is like w such a great game. It's such a great game because it's actually built into the game. These, these areas, where, these, these stretches of time where I don't actually have to do anything. I can just like set stuff up and just sit and watch it unfold. Unlike Monopoly Tycoon, where like I constantly have to be on my toes and constantly doing something, it's very stressful. This is perfect because I can just like sit back 
and watch as the stuff that I instituted unfolds and just kind of imagine about the stuff that's going on in front of me. So it's perfect. I fucking love this game. This is a spectacular game. I'm, a hell of an, I'm having a hell of a lot of fun with it. And hopefully you guys are liking it too. Uh, I've been getting a lot of really good feedback on these videos and I really, really do appreciate it. So same as always, if you're enjoying watching me play uh, Sim Life, uh, make sure that you let me know in the comments section. Make sure you let me know by subscribing, favoriting, liking, all that malarkey. And, uh, and yeah, and thank you so much for all of the comments, likes, subscribes, favorites I've already gotten. Thank you so much. It's thrilling. I love it. It's very, very encouraging. And of course, I'm playing a game that I love too. And, and I'm only getting better. Every time I play, I learn something new about this game that I had no fucking idea existed to begin with. So, so thank you very much for watching. And I will see you with more Sim Life next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Uh,